This week in ARK, we have some big news. Also, some confusing ARK news. There's a lot going on as we build up to the hopefully imminent Scorch Earth release. The ARK animated series coming out and Bob's Tall Tales for ARK and Scorch Earth is still on track. There's so much going on this week, so we're going to get straight into it and cover everything going on with ARK news. Starting with the Community Crunch 401. What's up everyone, Hod here and don't forget to subscribe for all your ARK and PvP news. So today we're starting talking about Bob's Adventure Pack. We have the Community Crunch 401 in introducing Bob's Tall Tales starring Carl Urban. This is what we get today. This is pretty out there. There's a lot going on in this picture. We've got a June buggy of Linosaur, some possible new skin and no clarity. This is what's coming with the train pack for Scorch though. These clothing sets I think and this obviously creature here. Then in the background they've got Aberration scorch and extinction so i'm guessing this comes with extinction but again we got a lo whole lot of things that aren't clear but let's get into community crunch 401 gather around the campfire survivors everyone who's played has a story about the first bob they've encountered in arc now the legendary arc veteran bob voiced by carl urban is ready to share his incredible true adventures with you for the first time nothing can prepare you for the wonder and two-fisted action of bob's tall tales Piece together Bob's larger than life arc saga by recovering his animated explorer notes. You'll feel like you were right there with Bob from the beginning as he describes his pivotal role in arc's history to young Mika. So it sounds like it sounds like this is going to be a short animated story, probably to go along with the arc animated series they're releasing now. But it's so confusing. They're releasing the first explorer note on March 31st, pending certification. So what I think this is, is obviously it's going to be Carl Urban talking with someone, I think in a short story, and then we'll have Explorer Notes to find in game. Obviously everything that's featured in this isn't going to come with Scorched Earth. I think the Velenosaur will come with Extinction. This maybe comes with the train pack, which would be very strange having a dune buggy and arc, but I don't think they would show something on here if it's not in game. And then we've even got one of these flying air balloons there's just a whole lot going on here but they've got aberration scorch and extinction in the background so it says to me that not all of these will be added with scorched earth we might get some of these over in time especially of course the rock drake's not going to be on scorched earth i don't think but very confusing and they've just left it up in the air so it's very hard to understand or know what exactly this is going to be and what form it's going to take Obviously, it's got something to do with the adventure pack because these are the skins from the adventure pack and maybe these are extras in the adventure pack But again, Ark's just left it so open To interpretation, there's just no clarity on what this exactly is so very confusing But we are getting an explorer note on the 31st. Maybe it's just going to be explorer notes with Carl Ur Urban voicing them like they did for Genesis which would be like very anticlimactic i think so very confusing and also carl urban's character is talking to mika who is actually from arc 2 so there's some crossover with arc 2 in here as well so i'm not sure how it's all going to tie in but i think it's probably actually got a lot to do with the animated series and probably some sort of crossover with that to advertise arc and the animated series and cross them together but again intentionally vague or unintentionally vague probably news from wildcard so that's arc's bob adventure so it could be a whole lot of nothing or it could be something. It's really hard to tell exactly what this is. Uh, there's also been some live ops updates. We've released an update this week preparing for the upcoming Scorched Earth expansion. The goal is to get the changes out sooner so that Scorched Earth patch isn't going to be as big to download on launch day. And it also helps the team identify issues before that major release. They're releasing some stuff ready for Scorched Earth, which sounds like it's on track at the moment, but we'll wait to see. And I anticipate some delays at least said said the major version patch we're rolling out today includes some shader improvements and under the hood changes to help prepare for the upcoming scorched earth release the goal is to get these changes out sooner so that scorched earth patch isn't as big to download on launch day scorched earth is still on track to release and we're just wrapping up a fair bit this patch also contains other significant changes from the live game so they they messed up with the characters this week. Um, female characters were really disproportionate and things like that. A lot of people weren't happy. They said they removed them. 
Um, they improve the pipeline for characters by removing redundant assets and simplifying. So they changed the female character proportions and everyone ended up with really buff females. I'm sure they're going to change that again and allow people to get their feminine appearance back. But at the moment, that's what they did. And that's the reason they did it. So it's good that Scorch looks like it's on track and the devs are actually being open and transparent at the moment. Sed's been on comms, Jat's been even on comms on Twitter. It looks like some pieces are moving and there's some momentum that's winding up and getting into gear at the moment behind the scenes for ARK. And this also leads us into the final bit of news, which is the ARK animated series. So it looks like Nettie the Noodle and Ju and a few other guys on Twitter have been doing some research and found out that the ARK animated series is coming out on Apple and on Amazon Prime. And it's getting into action to be released on the 21st of March, apparently. So it looks like it's coming ahead. And it's actually going to come out, which will be pretty awesome. This might get some more hype behind Ark again and get some more momentum back in the game that we all love and want to do well. So it's great to see. We're going to have a lot of new content coming for Ark, But I just still wish there was a bit more clarity because it's very confusing with the Carl Urban Bob series, what that's actually going to be. And I really hope that they do get Scorched Earth out on time. With the hype from the animated series, plus Scorched Earth on the horizon, in two weeks we could have Ark back to a great place. Although there's still a lot of underlying issues and things they need to fix behind the scenes too. As we all know, Ark, Ark Survival Ascended is still in a rough spot. There's a lot of issues with the base game that need to be ironed out. So hopefully the devs can maybe get these in order and we can get back on track with Ark. Fingers crossed, it's looking like things are getting into momentum. Some stuff's finally happening. The animated series, Scorched Earth, and Bob's Adventure. There's a lot going on with Ark. See how it all pans out. Hopefully we get some clarity, and we go onwards and upwards with the communication from Seth and Jat and their community managers on Twitter. What do you guys think? Will this be enough hype and momentum to build Ark Survival Ascended back up and get it back on track? Or do you guys think it's too far gone? What issues do you guys think there still are with Ark Survival Ascended? I want to do a big list at some point in the future. So let me know in the comments below. And let me know any other thoughts you guys have. I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys are legends. Thanks for watching.